is Laura Finkasava, 20 year field marketing specialist. And today I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how you can upload contacts into your Moxie Engage platform. Let's get started where we usually do on CB Desk. And I'm going to go on to Moxie Works. Make sure you have the blue bar at the top that says present, engage, my website, impress, and directory. Today we're going to be in Moxie Engage. To add contacts, you can either go to People Overview or People My People. If you click here on the blue button that says Add People from the drop down menu, it is going to only permit you to add a single contact. So I'm going to click Overview. And then once you're in the Overview page, you can click the blue button on the right hand side here and Add People. Then you'll have either option to add a single contact or to import contacts. So single contact here is going to let you physically type in all information for a single contact. However, if you have a longer list and multiple contacts that you want to upload all at once, we're going to import contacts. A little menu item is going to pop up right away and this is going to give you your basic information that you are going to need to know for importing these contacts via a CSV file. So Engage does require a very particular templated CSV file. You can find this template right here directly on this import action by clicking this example CSV. And it's going to download and you can open this up directly. Now that we have the contact import template open up, go ahead and check out the first row and all of the different categories that you can put information in. Best practice for inserting your information is going to be having already existing Excel or CSV file ready to go where you can just copy in information details, such as first name and pasting it into that corresponding category. I'll do the same for last name, as well as address, phone numbers, emails, and so on. I also want to call attention to the one line that is for categories. If you create a specific category in this column, it is going to create a group when it's imported into Moxie. So these could be potentially buyer groups, seller groups, you name it. It's going to default to whatever you name it into this column and then match anything with the same name. Once you have your file completed by copying and pasting all that information, you're going to select file, select a file from your computer and hit open then it is going to import. While it's importing, you can still click there and work in your Moxie Engage because depending on the length of your import list, it does take a decent amount of time. Once your contacts are imported, you will see them show up in My People. You will also automatically find a group that has been imported on a specific date. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to follow along and subscribe for more videos for marketing tips and tricks.